As we've been seeing, the tsunami is believed to have been triggered by the eruption of Anak Krakatau. It's on a volcanic island by the same name between Java and Sumatra and has been spewing ash and lava for months. The island has been emerging from the sea since the 1920s. An earlier volcano in the same place erupted in 1883. That event was described as the explosion heard around the world. 36,000 people were killed in a series of tsunamis which followed as the volcano collapsed into itself. Well, let's speak some more about this now to James Goff, who is a professor of tsunami research at the University of New South Wales in Australia. He's vice guy from Southampton in the UK. Thank you so much for joining us. So this took people by surprise, as we've heard, because they weren't the earthquake tremors that usually precede a tsunami. Uh, a tsunami set off by volcanic activity. Just how unusual a phenomenon is it? It's actually not that unusual. Um, the, the, the problem is we tend not to focus so much on those because the warning systems are set up for large earthquake generated tsunamis. Um, but there are quite often little bits of uh, the side of volcanoes falling off and generating small tsunamis. Um, it's just that you know, invariably they tend to happen locally affecting areas and those areas don't have people. Uh -huh. uh, in this case, unfortunately, you have the the worst case scenario possible, you have a densely populated coastline, incredibly active volcano, uh, and uh, we also had a high tide. So you put all those together uh, and, and this is one of those worst case scenarios. And it's raising the awareness of, to people that these kind of events can happen from volcanoes. Right. Are there external factors that influence the activity of, of volcanoes? Are we able to predict this kind of volcanic activity? Oh, well, uh, to a certain extent, you can predict the volcanic activity. I mean, you, you, can, you can tell that there's a bit of magma moving around and you can sense very, very small earthquakes happening. But can you predict there's going to be a tsunami generated by that? Mm. No, that's a completely different kettle of fish, if you wish. Uh, much harder to, to try and get a sense of whether any tsunamis are going to be generated by this volcanic activity. Uh, everyone's familiar, of course, with the infamous Krakatoa volcano, whose eruption in 1883 was one of the world's uh, worst natural disasters. At least 36,000 were killed then. But what about this so-called child of Krakatoa? Just how dangerous is it for the people who live in its vicinity? Well, uh, you know, it's clearly a very, very active volcano, and it's been active for quite some time. It's growing very rapidly. Uh, you put all that together, and you've got a lot of magma underneath it that's moving around. Uh, clearly, you then have unstable slopes on the side of the volcano, both underwater and above it. Uh, it's highly likely that there will be more tsunamis generated by submarine landslides. The question is, when's that going to happen? We don't know. Uh, are there going to be bigger ones? We don't know. Um, what warning do you have? Well, it's an active volcano, uh, and that's the, essentially the warning. Yeah, and I read, as you say, that, you know, in the years before the 1883 eruption, activity around the Krakatoa volcano was intense and earthquakes were felt as far away as Australia. So could what we're witnessing right now be the prelude to something even more catastrophic? Well, uh, I, Anak Krakatoa is a lot smaller than, than, than Krakatoa was uh, when, it, when it blew up. Um, but that doesn't mean that it won't do something uh, sort of catastrophic. Uh, more catastrophic than, than today, uh, but it's it's really difficult to tell. I suspect that there may be one or two more submarine landslide surprises to come, but in all honesty, we just need to uh, be aware that it's a problem and keep away from the coast as the government is advising and the scientists are advising uh, and watch. Thank you so much for speaking to us. Very interesting to hear your thoughts on this. Thank you for your insight. James Goff, Professor of Tsunami mm -hmm. Research at the University of New South Wales in Australia. Thank you very much for your time. And of course, all the